Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally ready to show my 2021 planner lineup and my 2021 journal lineup. In front of me here, I have my planner stack. I won't go into detail into every single one of these things, otherwise this video would take too long. And I have done a lot of videos in the past where I've gone through some of these. So I will link those below in the cards or in the description so you can watch those if you need more information. I will go into some detail into the covers because some of these are new and I just like to talk about leather covers. So let's start off with the planners. I do have three of them. This is a B6 traveler notebook. This is a B6 folio and then this is like a pocket size folio. Just let's start off with this one. As this is my main planner. I call this my planner, my bullet journal, my EDC. They're all the same thing to me. This is where I plan most of my stuff. It is inside this To You Culture notebook. It was in the A5 size of their one day, one page grid diary. And I cut it down to the B6 size. I use it as a bullet journal, like a blank notebook, as you can see here. I have done a detailed setup video of how I set up my bullet journal. My bullet journal is kind of split into two. This is volume two and volume one I will show you later. This is where I have most of my monthlies and my dailies and all of my notes. As for the cover itself, I made this folio. It's the very first time that I made a leather folio completely from scratch. And as you can see, it's not the best quality. The stitching around here, I love contrast stitching by the way, using white stitching. This is actually the best part of the folio because this is the part where I sewed the last part. I started off at the back and as you can see, it's pretty wonky. Around the corners especially and at the bottom, it's very very close to the edge. But I wasn't really paying attention to how to do this uh, in terms of doing my research. So I kind of winged it and I learned my lesson. I know that if I'm going to do this again, I know what to do. Or hopefully I know what to do. Um, this leather, by the way, I love this leather. It uses the Wicked and Craig leather and it's in their glazed harness. This color is in medium brown. I was inspired to make this and use this leather uh, by Sarah Martinez who has used this leather in a different color to make some of her own leather folios, which are pretty stunning. I wasn't able to find that color in my country, so I got this one instead. And I do really like this color. It's a very rich brown. And I did take a photograph on it. I did take a photograph of this in daylight. I think it looks much nicer in daylight than it does under this room light. This leather does scratch very, very easily. Very shiny and very smooth. You can see the back, there's lots and lots of minuscule scratches and this barely leaves my desk or my room or my house. I have been using this since I made it in late December and I haven't wanted to change out of this. It's very nice because I can make it to the exact size to fit my bullet journal that I want. And I made this quite wide so that it can grow with the bullet journal as it will probably bulk up a little bit more. and it's very roomy. I love the feel of it. It is the same leather used by Chic Sparrow for their Austin line, if you've ever seen that or owned that. I'll quickly show you how I made it. It's got a, po a full length pocket here with a little credit card slot. You can put in a business card or a credit card. And then in the back, I have another one. And then I have my bullet journal put into both sides of this folio and it works pretty well. I can get it to lay flat pretty easily like this and it closes, no issue. Although my book is starting to get a little bit chunky so it does kind of bounce up a little bit. Still love it. I don't feel the urge to change out of this which is rare. In the back here I should show you my writing board and then this is a digital paper from Ashley and Laz. That's my main bullet journal. This is something new for 2021. Whereas this is my main bullet journal, it used to be my everyday carry in that I would carry in my purse. But now I don't go out as much. I don't need to bring this with me. And in fact, in 2020, when I did go out of the house, I didn't take this with me. And I kind of got used to not having to take this with me. 
and my bag became a lot lighter, which was great. I don't want to go back to carrying this anymore if I don't have to. So that's where this comes in. I still need a notebook sometimes when I'm out and about to make notes, especially if I need to reference phone numbers and things like that. And so now I have this. This folio is by Pop Off Leather. It came in a DIY kit. That means I bought the leather, it came with the thread and the sewing needles and all the tools to make this folio, and I simply just sewed it together and glued it. You can buy it from Pop Off Leather pre-made as well. I have this Hobonichi Lacho closure around it. I don't always use it in my handbag because I feel like I'm going to lose this. And this uses the Horween Dublin leather in the color English Tan. I do really like this leather, although it does scratch up since it's been in my bag. There's tons of little scuffs here and a couple of little small scratches. And it's going to age like that. Now inside, it's very simple. There are some card slot pockets here, but I don't use them. Instead, here on the left pocket, I made this makeshift pen loop out of duct tape. So it's not very sturdy, but it is a way for me to clip in a pen here so I can use it with this notebook. Um, let's just take it out. This is my Muji pen. I've shown it a lot on my channel. And it's got a ballpoint refill. So I take it out with me. Just put it back. And then this little insert is a field note size insert. And I made it out of Fabriano paper. So it's a dock grid paper, four millimeter grid. Then on, since I made this myself, I could design whatever I wanted. So for the cover page at least, I printed out a little box here with a sticker. This is a digital printable from Plan So Cute of a panda bear. And I lettered in my name. I'm going to fill in my phone number and my email. And most of this notebook is blank, so I can make notes, which I won't show you. But the front, I did stick in a calendar for 2021 in, in case I need to reference it. And then, and then on the next page, I skipped a page, but it has something similar to this, where I just write down my emergency contact numbers, whether that be the insurance number or the number to my medical family doctor or to the nearest hospital or whatever police collision center that I need to write, then I have it listed in the previous page. If I need to take some notes with me that I need to transfer from here to here and then I take this out with me, then I will write it in here. This is my mini EDC the one that I actually take around with me, although this is where my main planner is. Now for the last thing, this really is what I call my projects traveler's notebook. So there's really one thing in here that I would call my planner and the rest are more projects things, but I do stick them all together in here. Now this cover is from Speckled Fawns. It is their B6 traveler's notebook. Leather is from the composer collection and it's in the color Sebastian. I'm not sure if they're offering this anymore. I do really like this color. I think out of the three of these, it's the lightest one and it's my favorite shade out of all of these. Although they all seem to be brown this year, or at least for the start of this year. Anyway, I really like this. It did come wrinkled like this and the leather I feel is actually one of the more drier ones. So I do condition it regularly. I've rec I've conditioned it twice already to give it this really shiny effect. But since it's very wide and I've got a lot of inserts in here, I think it's the best or right now I really enjoy using it because it can fit all of my inserts. And it's pretty chunky. The inserts go very close to the edge and I don't even have any tabs. So I'm thinking I may eventually split this into two, but for right now it holds everything that I need to hold. And then in the front pocket here, I have this postcard from the ghost shop. And it's got this French bulldog design here. I did order some things from them and they gave me a free postcard. In fact, they gave me like three of them. So I can rotate them in and out here if I want. Now this project's traveler's notebook is kind of a mess in terms of decoration in that 
they're all a mix of it. I don't really care so much about decorating this. See, there's nothing in the pocket. The first one here is a dashboard that's laminated and it covers my insert or the first insert in this traveler's notebook. So let's just talk about this really quickly. This is a dashboard that I got from Naomi Love Designs. Sorry about the glare here. And I just stuck it in here, even though it doesn't really quite match. And then on the back, this is a digital printable from Lazni Crea Shop. And I'm sorry if that's pronounced wrong. I will put it in the caption so you can see what I'm talking about. Same with the back of this little laminated dashboard, same designer. And mainly it's to cover this insert. I did make it a while ago and I used this cover made out of scrapbook paper and I don't really like it so much anymore, so I cover it with this. But it doesn't matter what this cover looks like anyway. Um, this is my bullet journal ideas insert and it's made out of a five millimeter dot grid paper that I got from Michaels. I just use it to sketch out my ideas for my bullet journal themes or my collections. And so here I was trying to design my bullet journal collections notebook, um, which I will show you next. So it's pretty much very rough and I started it this year. So it's just took me to sketch out things and it doesn't have to be pretty. It will be pretty by the time it gets to here or to here, which is my next insert insert number two and my bullet journal collections. I have done a video on this as well. This is another B6 insert. It, this time it's from Paper Penguin Co. So I did buy this. It uses Tomoe River paper and it's got 80 pages. Now this is the first part of my bullet journal where I put down the collections and trackers that I use for the entire year. So that I can have it all at once and I can separate it out from my main bullet journal and I don't have to copy it every time I switch out of my main bullet journal to a new notebook. I find that having 80 pages in this little insert is more than enough for the entire year. So I like doing it like this. And I, I have done a setup video of this so that you can see how I set it up before I really started filling it in. Now for the cover for this, it is a dashboard. This one I did buy the dashboard. It is made out of vinyl, so it's much nicer than my laminated dashboard. It's from Chic Sparrow. And on the front here, I have this piece of foil. I did previously foil, is it hard to see? There we go. Uh, I did previously foil a piece of vellum, and this is the negative from that foil. Very shiny. And on the back, I didn't put anything except the sticker. This is from the Critter Co. The third little insert here is, let me show you the inside first. It's an insert I made. I have shown it in my ch channel before and I will link to that set of video, but it's that of my beauty inventory. And this is just a place for me to track all the different categories in my skincare and my hair care. And keep track of the things I have and the things that I've opened and the things I've used up. So I don't keep on accumulating all of these bottles of things in my bathroom. So this is an example in the middle. These are all the body scrubs that I own. And if something is crossed out, it means that I've used it up. If something is checked off here on the side, it means that I've opened it and I'm currently using it. And same with body lotion and all its different categories. Now, as for the cover for this, it's another kind of dashboard. It's made out of scrapbook paper and it's blue, which is my favorite color. So I like this, but it's not really useful. I don't put anything in the pockets here nor here. It's just here. And it's a nice color. My insert number four is the thickest insert in here. And this is a notebook from Muji. Now it's inside this duct tape cover. It's made out of black duct tape. And I stuck in this paper here. This design is from Free Pick, and it's got my channel name on here. So I figured it's a good place to put the cover here for my notebook for my YouTube channel. And it's from Muji, B6 size notebook in gray with a six millimeter grid. I mean, six millimeter lined, sorry. 
I'm going to just use it to write down the outlines of my YouTube videos, especially if there's things that I want to remember to say in my YouTube videos, then I will jot it down here. I wouldn't really call this a planner because I plan in on my computer when it comes to my YouTube channel, but it's a place for me to write down the notes. And I've been using this for a year now, and I'm about halfway through. Let's see. It's around page 80 something, and it's got 160 pages. So I'm thinking this will last me till 2021. So I like to use this for my notes. And then the last thing here is because there's only four elastics in this traveler's notebook, I do have one more insert. And this is made out of Rhodia dot pad paper. So I made this myself again. And this is where I write down some fountain pen kind of experiments, I guess. I did this video last year where I wrote down the lyrics to all of these Christmas songs and I tried to do it out of memory or out of the top of my head to see how good I was. And that was a lot of fun. So I'll probably do some more of that in 2021. Since it doesn't have a string, I just kind of stick it in the back. And then at the back here, I have another writing board, which is pretty old now because it says 2020, but it still works. And I use this for my bullet journal grids and so on. So that's my project's TN. Now for the last part of my planner thing, I should mention that I do have an A5 ring binder. I have shown this in my 2020 lineup as well. This is from Filofax. It's A5 ring binder. It's a Safiano and it's in the color Aquamarine. So I won't really show what's inside, but I do have a lot of reference material in here. Since I have my collections bullet journal for the year of 2021 in here, this is more, even more permanent kind of bullet journal collections or notes or references that I will hole punch and put in here. Things like swatches of, of my brush pens or something like that. Um, some of it, a lot of it, I don't really want to show anyway, so I have to clean it up. I think that there's too much in here that I don't need to reference anymore, um, but that will be a project for another day. Now we get into my journals. I have three covers here, and I'll go through each of them. They're all A5. The first one here is my main journal or my long form journal, and it's where I do most of my journaling. The cover here is new. This is from Popov Leather, and it's their A5 folio using the Dublin English Tan Leather, which, if you remember, is the same leather that I used for this Field Notes cover, and it's the same company, Popov Leather. I don't remember if this used to be lighter, because I've been carrying it around now. Maybe it gotten darker as I put it in my bag, but this should be the same leather. And I really love this. It's very nice. It's actually, this, the, the leather is a bit softer than this one. So it's very flexible. It makes it quite light. And I like this color. It did come with some markings, that natural markings when I got this, like this mark here. Oops, like this kind of scar or something. Um, but I, I don't mind that at all. It's got this pen loop here. I don't normally put a pen in here. You can see how that looks. And it's kind of awkward in my opinion because it's right in the middle, but it does work. I was playing around with it just to see. And then I put a really chunky fountain pen in here and it sticks in really well and stays pretty secure. So inside the notebook that I have is something I've shown on my channel before because I started it in 2020. And this is from Nanami Paper, and it's their Seven Seas Crossfield Journal. Now this uses Tomoe River Paper, and it's got 480 pages of it. Yeah, 480 pages. And it uses this kind of unique cross dot spacing. It really, to me, it looks like a dot grid, which is what I really like anyway. And because it's got so many pages, I've been working through it since May, and I'm around page 398. So 
So it's going to take me a couple of months, I think, to finish this in 2021. And then I can start a new notebook. I do really love this paper a lot. And the way that I write in it, usually what I do is I take a fountain pen and I just write almost stream of consciousness like without doing any paragraphs whatsoever. Now, occasionally I will try and decorate it. Like for example, this page, I decorated it and then I'm going to write in it eventually. But normally I don't even do that. I just prefer to write. And that's my favorite way of journaling. I just like using different fountain pens and fountain pen inks. And that's my favorite way of journaling, like I said. So let me flip to the front here. I think I did show this when I set up this journal, uh, but I did add this little sticker here and this is from Square Lime Designs. This is, this is strange in that in 2020, this was my volume two journal, but since I carried it into 2021, now it's 2021 volume one. This washi tape, by the way, I do not know where it comes from because I got this in a sample of washi's, so I cannot tell you. This is probably my favorite journal to write in. And oh, I forgot the bookmark. Did I show you the bookmark? This is a very thin bookmark and it's just made out of a piece of paper that I printed on and laminated it. So I like that because it doesn't cause too much bulk and it will be very bumpy when I wrote over it. This is a printable from Ashley and Laz and it's of Celeste, which is from Animal Crossing. In my next journal here, this cover is another A5 folio, and this is from Lorite. The the right logo here. This uses his gemstone leather series, and it's in the color Topaz, which is a lovely kind of golden yellow. Although sometimes I feel like it's orange, sometimes I feel like it's brown. It's meant to be like a yellow. Inside I have two journals. The first one is my dream journal, and I have done a setup video of this. I started this in September, and I just write down my dreams. The notebook that I'm using is a Midori MD notebook, which comes in a blue dot grid, 5mm. I do have a pen here attached to the back, and I just use a paper clip to attach it. Um, so I can quickly write down my dreams in the morning if I remember them. The bookmark here is the same kind of very flimsy bookmark that I use in my other journal. This one I did print out using a digital freebie from Paper Bear Co. It's got these little planets here, which I figure can go somewhat with a dream theme with stars and things. So this is around my latest um, page. I did start this in September and I'm about, let's see, a third of the way through the notebook, so I think it's going to last me to all of 2021. The second journal in here is my morning pages journal. This is inside a Loistrom A5 notebook. I do really like this notebook. I use fountain pens in here, and what I do is I do my morning pages in here, where every day I write down two pages of like a brain dump every morning, or I try to do it every morning. I think this year I've been slacking off. I don't write in here every day, whereas I did try to do that every day last year. Um, this year, a little bit wonky when it comes to regularly journaling in here. But I do enjoy writing in here. I do not go back and read what I write previously in previous days. But what I do is I like to flip through the pages anyway because I use fountain pens and different colors. So I like just looking at the different colors. Um, rather than just reading what's inside. This journal cover number two. My last journal here is my newest one, and this is something new that I'm kind of starting for 2021. It is my creative journal. This uses the Hobonichi Cousin Evec for a creative journal. But let me talk about the cover first because I did do a setup of my creative journal and this cover has changed since that video. I switched out the cover on cover first of all. This is from Hobonichi and it's using their 2021 design by Sean Tan and it's their Eric cover. So this little leaf character is from one of Sean Tan's books. 
Now, as for the cover itself, I took a piece of paper and I cut it out to size and stuck it in between my cover and the cover on cover. So I just want to show you this picture or show you this image because I think it's really, really pretty. So hopefully with not so much glare. It's a beautiful photo from the photographer. His name is Saya Nakai, but he's a Japanese photographer. And I got this image from a desk calendar from 2011. So this is pretty old, which I tend to keep all the calendars. And it's a beautiful calendar. All the photographs are from him. And it was issued by Pentax, which is a camera company. So I don't know if he was hired by them to do it, that calendar for that year or something. But this photographer, according to the calendar, does specialize in taking photos of trains. So this is a very nice winter landscape at night in Japan with some station in Japan. I don't know where. And it's got this beautiful train here. So I really like how this looks. And it's nice that the wall calendar that I got was big enough so it can fit the entire image inside this cover on cover. I just had to trim a little bit of the image and it still fit inside here, which I like. And I'm probably going to convert some of more of the images from that calendar and stick it in my cover on cover as the year goes on. Let's just talk about that cover. And then inside, I will show you my Hobonichi cousin. Now I've done a flip through of this already, so I won't go into detail again. Um, I'll just show you that I kept the same stencils here. I can use stickers here. And then this dashboard is from Carrots and Olives. And then this is my Hobonichi cousin. This little postcard here is inside a little laminated pocket. And it's from the Coffee Monsters Co. The sticker here is also from the Coffee Monsters Co. And this little image here I made by myself. And I go into all of that detail in my other video. I am enjoying using this creative journal and I do journal in it very regularly. There's a couple of days I missed. I've been finding that if I do miss some days, I will go back in the future and I will write down something just to fill up that page. And I'm finding, I'm finding it pretty easy to do that. Um, especially coming from my long-term journal, filling up a one-day page is not hard for me at all. Although some days I don't do it, but if I were able to do it, then it's pretty easy. So I'm enjoying doing this. In fact, sometimes I think one page is not enough. But it's the part of the challenge. For my journals, three journals here, I do have an honorary mention as well. I might as well mention it since I have referred to it as part of my journal stack in the past. And that isn't really a journal journal. It's my ink journal. So this is in a Hobonichi cover. This is the Astro Boy cover for 2021. And then I stuck it in a cover on cover, even though I don't think it needs it. Um, and then I put in my ink journal. So this isn't really a journal journal. It's a place for me to document my fountain pen inks, um, what I have inked, and my ink inventory, which is I document all the inks that I have and all of the pens that I have. I call it an ink journal, so it's part of my journal stack. That's it for my planner and journal lineup for 2021. They barely all fit in the same screen. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.